Hi, I'm Denise Dumas, and I'm the VP of Platform Engineering at Red Hat. And we are the team that bring you Red Hat Enterprise Linux and a whole lot of other software that you may or may not ever hear of, but we're underneath every product that Red Hat has. When you want to deploy an application, you want to make sure that it's going out on a platform that has built-in security. You want to be on a box that's performing well. And ideally, you don't want to have to worry too much about those things yourself. You want to be in a place where there's great runtime support and where the runtime works with you, not against you. You want to have things like strong cryptography available through the system libraries. You want to have reliability underneath you. There are a whole lot of things that you worry about as an application developer, and there's another whole class of things that you don't want to have to worry about, which is why it's great to have a really solid, scalable, secure, and high-performing operating system like Red Hat Enterprise Linux available underneath as your deployment environment. The operating system matters in a whole lot of ways that developers never see. Um, the operations team maybe sees more of it, but for the most part, our role is to try to insulate developers from the problems that go on down below. So for instance, take performance tuning, right? I have guys who spend their lives examining the performance in all sorts of different use cases and all sorts of complicated and real life applications. And what we do uh, with the information that they discover is to put together tuning profiles. So if you have an application of a particular type, we can provide a tuning profile for your database, for your real time application so that you don't need to understand all those characteristics. Um, we build things like the Intel MXP and AXP instruction sets into the compilers, and then make sure that other pieces of the operating system take advantage of that. So it's there in the runtimes for you in the libraries that you're going to use, um, but you don't have to worry about that. Oh, unless, of course, you're writing an assembler, but I don't think anybody does that anymore. If I had to pick three things that would make developers love Red Hat Enterprise Linux, performance, security, reliability. Red Hat Enterprise Linux matters a lot to developers because it gives you insulation from the deployment environment. When you build an application for RHEL, you can deploy it on RHEL, the operating system. You can deploy it on Red Hat Atomic Host, our container deployment platform, which is actually the underpinnings of OpenShift. So there's another place where you can deploy it. RHEL is the basis of Red Hat's virtualization platform. You can validate in a guest, and we can deploy those guests on top of RHEL. So there are a lot of advantages because you have a consistent environment underneath you. You don't have to worry about it. You can deploy your application in a guest, in a virtualized environment. You can deploy it in a containerized environment, so it, and, and it's consistent across those environments. We even make a container base image, basically the user space, the runtime environment, available to you as a developer for free, by the way, that you can use to build into your containers to get your runtime, so you can carry your runtime with you. We even make more of those container environments with things like database support built in, available to you on the Red Hat portal. A developer who's writing with Ruby or Java or any of the more interesting or modern development languages has the opportunity with Red Hat Enterprise Linux to get access to the developer tool set and the Red Hat software collections. When we ship the operating system, we ship a base version of the runtimes for all of those languages that we have to keep consistent over time. So we can't really update it for all of our customers. But what we do is we make more modern versions available on much faster life cycles than the operating system evolves at. Um, as, those, as those languages get refreshed, right? So with software collections, you can get access to updated 
versions of the languages in the runtime. You can get databases, Mongo, Postgres. Um, we're putting more and more of our work into those collections so that we're able to put them on a faster life cycle. Um, and yet, you don't really want bleeding edge, right? Well, maybe you do, but your operations people don't want bleeding edge. Yeah, probably not. Um, so we want to make sure that we've had the opportunity to take something in-house, do some validation, stabilize it. You don't want to be taken right off the trunk. So absolutely, the best way for a new developer to get started with Red Hat Enterprise Linux is to go to developers.redhat.com. There's all sorts of content there to make your life easier. You can get access to the subscription that you need. You can pick up great information, and there's a community there, which is always helpful when you're, when you're learning how to develop on a platform. You can get answers to your questions.